651 time for the morning sprint breaking news just into the newsroom this morning the u.s air force says it's recovering the wreckage of an osprey aircraft that crashed off the coast of japan divers found the remains this morning along with the bodies of five of the eight crew members who were on board the osprey was on a training flight last week when it requested an emergency landing it crashed before it reached land Back stateside, Madison police are looking for suspects after a car crashed into a house. It happened on Ridge Drive near High Point Park. The car initially drove off from a traffic stop. The suspects ran away from the crash before police got there. Officers tried to find them using a canine and a drone, but they weren't able to. The trial for a Madison woman accused of trying to kill an unborn child begins today. Cynthia Dominguez faces a single charge of first degree, uh, first degree intentional homicide. Uh, for beating a pregnant woman. Prosecutors say that she did it with Brittany Holston, who was in a relationship with the father of the child. If convicted, Dominguez could face up to 60 years in prison. Holstein's trial will begin next week. The man accused of stabbing Derek Chauvin 22 times seems to have been planning the attack for around a month. That's according to new court documents released yesterday. John Tursak has been charged with attempted murder after attacking Chauvin in prison. Tursak said the attack on Black Friday was symbolic and related to his feelings on the Black Lives Matter movement. Four people are dead in Texas this morning in another mass shooting. Police were called to a home in Dallas yesterday after reports of gunshots. They found three adults dead at the scene. A one and a 15 year old were taken to the hospital. The one year old boy died of his injuries while in uh, care, the 15-year-old is in good condition. The suspect, though, is still on the loose. Meanwhile, in New York, a stabbing has left four people, including two children, dead. It started with a call to police by a young girl claiming her cousin had stabbed and killed her entire family. Police found the suspect at the end of the driveway and tried to stop him. He stabbed two officers before they shot and killed him. Police found one woman alive in the home. She went to the hospital in critical condition. Former Congressman George Santos is blaming a lie from another lawmaker on his expulsion from Congress. Santos says that he was accused by Republican Representative Max Miller, uh, who claimed that he and his mother were defrauded by Santos, which cost him a seat. Santos said Miller sent out the accusation shortly before Friday's vote with that he did not have time to refute. Israel is expanding its ground assault to encompass all of the Gaza Strip. They claim an air assault killed a main Hamas commander who planned the October 7th attacks this past weekend. The military is telling Palestinians to evacuate, dropping leaflets across the Strip. Meanwhile, the Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry says yesterday was the deadliest day yet in the war. Meanwhile, Houthi rebels are stepping up attacks in the Red Sea. Three civilian cargo ships were struck by missiles sent from the coast. This as a U.S. warship claims to have shot down three drones. The rebels claim responsibility for two of them. It's the largest escalation in the maritime battles yet between multiple ships being targeted at the same time. Tonight, people in Madison have the opportunity to learn about a new city experiment impacting your downtown experience. Madison officials will be sharing plans to turn the 400 through 600 blocks of State Street into a pedestrian mall. No traffic. Buses, delivery trucks, or anything else will be allowed to drive down it. The test starts in the summer of 2024 next year. The meeting is scheduled for 5.30 at the Madison Municipal Building. Prime time, Taylor Swift in town and the Green Bay Packers stunned the Kansas City Chiefs. Jordan Love threw three touchdowns last night and no interceptions. Final score is 27 to 19. That's three wins in a row for Green Bay. They're now six and six on the season with five games to go and very much alive to make the postseason. And the Badgers becoming snowbirds over New Year's. They're heading south to play LSU in the ReliQuest Bowl in Tampa on New Year's Day. The two teams haven't faced off since 2016. The Fighting Tank Tigers, by the way, ranked 13th in the nation right now. All right, good morning, five minutes away from uh, seven o'clock, uh, waking up to uh, temperatures very close to freezing, so you'll probably have to scrape off some of the uh, frost on the windshield this morning. But uh, a lot of clouds around this morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s should be climbing into mid 30s here at the noon hour. Still fairly cloudy throughout the afternoon as we top out in the upper 30s, pretty close to our average for this time of the year. So kids off to the bus stop can they expect temperatures in the 30s uh, throughout the uh, day. Need the uh, heavier jacket, the mittens, and the hat as well. Looking at some light snow and flurries later tonight. This will be toward midnight. And then a big warm up. Upper 40s expected Thursday and Friday. Want to get to our first warm traffic. Right now, there is the southbound lanes of 151. That is, uh, we do have a blockage because of a semi fire uh, on 151 southbound from Columbus to Sun Prairie. We're going to keep an eye on that traffic, bring you live updates right here on News 3 Now.